Hi, in this video we will show you how to create a student account on Revas website and how to join the game. Go to the revas.online. If you want to log into the simulation using either your Facebook, Google or Microsoft account, just select the sign in button. If you want to create a new account on the platform, just select the register button. Then you have to choose the type of the account. Remember that this video is intended for players, that is students and training participants, so select the student button. You will see a registration form where you provide the data needed to register your account. Enter your name, surname and the email address. Come up with the password which you will need to log in to your account from now on. Read and accept terms and conditions and the information about the processing of the personal data. Finally, press the create button. Then you'll be automatically moved to your new Revas account. On the main screen, you will see an information that you are not currently participating in any simulation. Press the button, I have an access code and I want to join an existing simulation. At this point, the system will ask you to enter two elements, the ID of the game and your license key. You should receive this information from your teacher, lecturer or trainer. After entering ID and the license key, press the join button and you'll be moved to your game. But let's go back to the students panel for a moment. You can return to your account using the return your games button. As you can see, your game now is available on the main screen. In order to enter it again, you don't need to use the ID or license key anymore. The ID and the license key are used only once when logging to the game for the first time. Later, all you have to do is to click enter the game button. In the My Games section where we are currently in, you can see information about your game. Start date, the name of your game, game type, company name and the current round. If your instructor sets a schedule for moving the rounds forward automatically, you will be able to see it by clicking on the calendar icon. If your game allows you to get a certificate and you meet all the criteria, you will be able to generate such a certificate in the last column. In addition, you will find more buttons in the menu. The Join Game button will allow you to join another simulation if it turns out that you are taking part in several games at the same time. The next button is the global ranking. Here you can compare your results with all virtual teams playing the same simulation. Select the simulation which results you would like to see. Then you'll be able to check the results of each round. In case of the simulation that you are playing, your score may appear on the podium or if it's not in the top 3, it will be displayed next to it. That is all when it comes to your students panel. Remember, on our YouTube channel you will find more details about making decisions in particular rounds of the games. Thanks and see you in the next videos.